you know, it's positive and negatives. I feel like I potentially kind of wasted one of the slots because I, I didn't become a Marine Corps aviator because when I started to do it, I found out I didn't really like it that much. So it was a childhood dream and it was just too repetitive for me. I did well. I, I finished kind of at the top of my class on every phase and I got juts, but I just didn't, it didn't feed my soul. That it makes was, sense. It was, yeah. It just, and, uh, and as I was looking at finishing flight school and then signing up for the next six years to be a pilot and then looking at it for a career, it's just like, ah, I don't, I, I knew it wasn't a fit. Um, but it was a great adventure, you know, yeah, great awesome. friends and glad I did it. Yeah, I think I think last time uh, we talked about it, you mentioned like going up, and then they let you play with the jet, you know, and you just didn't feel like it, and so just like yeah. returned it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I did my mandatory maneuvers, and and then I went back into the landing pattern for the rest of the time. But yeah, yeah, I remember looking at my watch. God, geez, forty five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and that, but it hit me. It's like I went home and talked. I married my. High school sweetheart, you know, oh, we've been awesome. best friends since we were since we were teenagers. So I remember going home and telling her that because she was so excited for me. And she's like, "It's so exciting!" And I was like, mm. "I was like, let me, let me tell you, you know, my perspective, my my story." And she was the same thing. She was looking at me like, "Huh? We worked really hard to get here." <laughs> 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 